Passion Fruits, it's your girl VH with another video. What to do if your owl flies in a barbed wire fence and is hurt? Oh my god, I hope this never happens to Lucky. Stay tuned to see what you should do. into a barbed wire fence and it's hurt and bleeding, what do you do? Well, first of all, if you fly your owl outside, then you should always carry an emergency kit with you in case something happens. And in that emergency case should be silver nitrate. Why? This will stop the owl's bleeding. Another really important thing you need to do is Wrap your owl in a towel so that it's nice and warm. A hurt owl should always be able to stay nice and warm. And put it in either a transport box for owls or a regular box. Any box will do. Wrapped in some towels. Uh, closed. Of course, your owl should be able to breathe. There should be some holes in it or, you know, it should be able to breathe. But a hurt owl wants to keep warm and quiet, so you need to put it in a box wrapped in towels and uh, you need to put it in a dark, quiet, warm place. So um, the dark part is also really important, that's why I'm saying that you should close the box. And then the only thing you can do is drive to your vet who's specialized in birds of prey and raptors as fast as possible. So. That's what you're going to do when your owl flies in a barbed wire fence or something. Um, there's not much more you can do, in my opinion. I'm not a vet. If this would happen to Lucky, I would die. But just try to get your owl out of the barbed wire fence as safely as possible. Wrap it in a towel immediately. Stop the bleeding with the silver nitrate put it in a box, wrapped in towels, keep your car warm, 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 warm is key, and drive to your specialized vet. And hopefully your owl survives. That's a really short video, but that's basically the only thing you can do. Now it's better to prevent your owl from flying into barbed wire, and this is why I always fly my owl on a very long leash. Now I do admit I have flown Lucky next to a barbed wire fence once uh, and it was meters away from the fence but at one point I started to doubt myself and I was like oh my god is the, is the leash so long that she can actually fly into the barbed wire and you know I only had to experience that fear once to be like okay I'm never gonna risk that again Oh, come on. <sighs> there. <sighs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, once I noticed the barbed wire fence, I was constantly afraid she would fly in it. She didn't. But um, since then, I will not fly my owl, not even on a leash, next to a barbed wire fence, you know. And I wasn't flying her right next to it, but I suddenly realized that the leash might be long enough to still reach the fence. And since then, I pay extra attention to it. I like to just not take any risks because I know I wouldn't be able to handle it if I would lose Lucky due to an error of my own. Um, and even experienced falconers make mistakes, so I know that I'm not completely safe. You know, you can always make a mistake, but whatever can be avoided should be avoided. That's just my tip for today. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I make videos every week, including live streams with Lucky. And also try to hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video because other my, otherwise you might miss some really cool stuff. Make sure to check out my owl store as well where I sell all kinds of cool t-shirts, jewelry, clocks, wall art, ooh, and um, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. The link is in the description box down below. I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Bye!